Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a vlog. I'm gonna be hanging out with Giselle today. Um, I think I'm gonna go get my nails done and we're gonna be going to um, at home probably or home goods, I don't know where exactly. <sighs> but I need to find some home decor <sighs> for my bathroom. Um, so I can go ahead and put up the video that I have been telling you guys for like over a week now that I'm gonna put up. <laughs> And yeah, if you would like to see what I did today, my nails, just uh, why my hair is up like this, go ahead and keep on watching. When I went to get my hair cut, my fr um, the hairstylist, Yenny, she gave me um, this like bubble and bubble like leave-in cream and she gave me this spray. And she actually told me to braid my hair, well, well put the cream in it, braid my hair, and then when it's like this to put that, that spray in it, which I did. And then she told me to leave it overnight and then let it out. But I don't think it's fully dry yet. So I will show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and get ready. One said I is sleeping right now. So I want to hurry up and get this all done. Max outside using the bathroom. So I want to go make sure he didn't run away. Alright guys, so these days I've been trying out this foundation and concealer by Selena Gomez. It's the brand, her new brand, Rare Beauty. Um, sure if I like them yet. Um the concealer is pretty sheer and then the foundation is so i think my problem is that a lot of the time a lot of the time um i always set my foundation i never just like leave it like that and i don't know why i have like i think of like so i always think in my head what if like i let's just say i didn't set my foundation it doesn't dry all the way down and for some reason my hair gets stuck to my foundation like i just think that's so gross like i don't know why I think anything touching something wet, like when I wash my hands in my, if my sleeve, in my, when I wash my hands, I literally lift my sleeves like all the way up to here because I do not want them to like touch the, the, the wetness. So that's what I think about foundation, like the foundation too. Like what if I don't set it, it doesn't dry down all the way and my hair gets stuck to it and I just think that's so gross. I mean, I'll probably wear it wet another day, not today because my hair is going to be down and I'll probably do it one day when my hair is up. It comes with this little spoolie. You know what is that called? With this little dofa applicator. Oh my god. I usually do my brows first. What am I thinking? Well, we're already here. Well, there, for some reason, they couldn't color match me. They would just take the bottle out and look next, like, next. She said this is the closest to my shade, but I feel like it might be a little light. Alright guys, this is what my hair looks like. Um came out alright. It looks it looks like when I like crimp my hair, but just like smaller crimps, I guess you could say. It's still a little wet. If my hair takes a really really long time to get wet, so I don't think it was like done all the way. It's a little poofy, but I'm running late, so it's gonna have to just be fine. This is See the foundation I'm talking you guys about? I feel like it's way too light, but we gotta go. Hey you guys, so we already went to Home Goods. I bought what I wanted to buy to decorate the bathroom. It's gonna look super cute. Oh my god. Let me move this real quick so it doesn't look like I'm gonna park up here. I'm like a media carretera. There's like hella cars behind me. Um, so we already went to the, um, at home. No, we, we actually went to Home Goods in Woodbridge. And I didn't think I was going to buy anything, but I did. I did buy stuff. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to find that much stuff, but actually there was a lot of cute stuff in there, which was surprising. And then, um, we, me and Giselle stopped here at Starbucks. She ran in to get our order. And after this, I'm going to go get my nails done. I am so excited because I'm trying to, I'm going to try this new girl, um, I usually go to Mary, but she is super, super talented and, you know, always has, like, is super busy and I haven't been able to get an appointment with her. So I made an appointment with this girl, which I also have heard is really, really good. So I'm excited to try it. Oh, you have the same one? Yes. So this is the new drink that I am addicted to. My comadre Giselle put me onto it. What is it again? It's a pink drink, but with heavy cream. Yeah. Guys, it is so good. It tastes like, um, what is it? Do you know what quick is? 
Oh, your yeah, mom you ever give you that? Yeah, my mom used to give me that all the time in Carlos. And it reminds me of that. Oh, I'll see you guys after my nails. Hey, you guys. So it's um a couple hours later. I ended up, we ended up going um, to the nail place. And I loved my nails. This is what they ended up looking like. Let's see, let's put Edwin. I'll probably go ahead and insert a clip here and like a picture because I can't really like can't really see it. Yeah, you can't see. But after that, um, we went to the nail place and I really really liked her. She did a really good job and she was super professional. She was just like really nice and we had a pretty good conversation her name is vd nails she's located in stafford virginia if any of you guys are interested in going um she's really nice i really like the form everything the way she left my nails because you know sometimes like nails look like they're about to take off or they're just like and she left my nails super super nice and you know how sometimes like when you first get your nails done they hurt i don't know why this time it didn't hurt i don't know if it had anything to do with like the way she did my nails but she did a good job super cute so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna be showing you some stuff that i picked up at home goods this is the stuff that i picked up um to decorate my bathroom i picked up these bath towels just because they're really nice and white and i actually don't have any like hand towels so I'm going to be putting those in there. So hopefully he doesn't use these to dry his hands or to clean them off when he has chili on them. <laughs> the next thing I picked up is this basket. I thought it was really cute with the black handles. It's just kind of really cute to like use for like toilet paper or something. I don't know yet. I really don't know like what I'm going to put, where I'm going to put all this stuff. But I know it's going to look cute. So I just like buy stuff and then eventually I'll just be like... I'll just figure out where to put it later. Probably not the best way to shop, but that's just what works for me. The next thing I got is this candle. Um, don't ask me what it smells like because I don't know. I literally buy candles from Home Goods and um, what's it called? Um, TJ Maxx. Oh, this smells good though. For like the aesthetic of things, I don't really buy them to burn them. If I'm gonna burn a candle, I'll get it from Bath and Body Works. But I just think like they're so cute. Like, look at this. Doesn't this? Isn't this a cute candle? It says it is beauty said. Oh, let's just say that here. No, it doesn't. It just says a milk house candle. But it doesn't say the actual like what's supposed to smell like. So the next thing I got was this hara. I think this would look cute with these other like little flowers. Well they're not really flowers, like ramas I got. Um I saw those ramas like everywhere on pinterest so when i saw them i was like oh my god that's so cute and i figured in this hara would look super cute in the bathroom it's a vision guys it's the vision i have in my head hopefully it looks good because if it does end up looking good you guys will see it in the bathroom um part of the video and if not no va a salir it would be so cool to be like interior designing like that would be so cool can you imagine getting paid to decorate people's houses I see. Not as if anybody would hire me, but <laughs> it would be a fun job. Next thing I got actually wasn't for the bathroom. This is actually for my room over here personally, because I've been getting like a lot of like earrings and jewelry, fake like, jewelry of course, because <laughs> I lose everything. So there's a big ass mosca in here. I've tried to kill it all day. E. I smacked it. Did you guys hear that? Yes. I got this to organize my jewelry. It comes, I thought it was a really good deal. It's two different boxes and it comes with like a bunch of like thingies to organize it. And um, I'm going to use them. I'm probably going to end up doing it right now. So I'm excited for that because that cajon over there, I'll show you guys after this, is a hot ass mess. There's like so much like things and regalos. And I've come to the conclusion because you know when you go to like H&M and stuff. They have like a bunch of those necklaces that are like paired in threes. 
but they're all separate i keep buying them over and over again because <laughs> i just am too lazy to disassemble the ones i have in my drawer so i'm like okay let me do that so i can actually wear this and not keep buying them the next thing i got is a beautiful candle like look how pretty this candle is guys it's just a black candle as again i said for the aesthetic not for the oh but it smells really good and it says coconut blend wax candle sensational since what and then these were the ramas i was talking to you guys about aren't they so cute they're really really pretty and i was surprised i found them at home goods like i was thinking i had to buy them online but i don't know i just the end so i took advantage and i got two i was gonna get three but i feel like it would be pretty overwhelming in the jar so i just got two and then the last thing I ended up getting were just like mats for the floor. I got two, one to put in front of the shower. So like when you get out of the shower and then one to put in front of the mirror. One of the stuff's peinando or whatever. And I just went with these two cream colors. I really wanted like dark brown ones because you know, your feet are obviously going to get it dirty. But they didn't have any and I was just like whatever, it doesn't matter. They're just the, um, mats for the floor. And then what was I going to update you guys on? Oh yeah, that foundation is terrible. It was so bad. So Giselle wore the foundation too. And literally by the end of the day, our concealer looked disgusting. Our face just looked like ass. So tomorrow I'm actually going to return it. Um, I'm probably going to bring you guys with me. Because this vlog is like already pretty short. So I'll bring you guys with me tomorrow. So you guys can see what I do tomorrow. If you guys are interested. Which I'm sure you are, because if you're not interested, you wouldn't be watching this video anymore. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys with me tomorrow. And tomorrow, I'm going to be going to Sephora, returning that. I'm going to hang out with Giselle again tomorrow. Oh, and then, I'm taking my baby. She has her two-month appointment and she's going to get shots. So, probably cry. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start organizing that, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, that is an absolutely ridiculous. These are all earrings and necklaces. So I'm going to go ahead and try to organize this. Give me a second. I should be embarrassed to show you guys this too. But I'm going to try to organize this and see how it goes. Alright guys, and this is what it looks like at the end. So, um, a fun fact. There's a couple of fun facts in here actually. So, this seashell. My mom actually gave it back to me in 2014. <laughs> me and her went on a walk at the beach um, by the sand, just me and her. And she picked this up and gave it to me, and I have kept it ever since. Can you believe that? And then this one here, um, I got this from my quinceanera. Um, I think my mom gave it to me, or I, no, I wore it the day of my quinceanera. And this one also, I wore it the day of my quinceanera. And I never got rid of it. I still have it. So those are things that I always cherish. I'm a sensitive bitch, guys. I keep a lot of stuff. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, I didn't put in the cajones because I'm actually going to clean all the cajones before I put stuff in. But look how good it looks. It like keeps everything nice and organized so I can see my earrings and these little dainty necklaces. And then I have like these long necklaces, watches, obviously that. Oh, my little sister gave me this. It is so cute guys so it says big sis and then she has the one that says little sis and then um my mom has one that just says mom and if you can see they're actually like a heart so it's a heart cut into th it's a heart cut into three pieces and they're magnetic so when you put them together they like come together and necklaces two of my sunglasses here and that's it guys so let me look at 15 bucks so yeah a steel that shoe though there you go <laughs> but yeah guys i'll see you guys tomorrow say buenos dias buenos dias mi amor say buenos dias a todos mi amo monchera as you already know a ver que dice tu shirt dice one month y por que traes esa you two tienes two months not one two dos E. Come on, girl. Hey, you guys. So, I'm supposed to be out of the house by now, but I'm not. I am supposed to be meeting up with Giselle at 9, 
tell me why it is at 9 49 i don't know my alarm didn't ring it was just like then when i did wake up i was like what time is it because in the in the room we have like those like curtains that like como se dice? you can't like see inside of them i was like what time is it i was like oh no bitch and then i feel like getting out of the house like when you have a baby is such a hassle because like look right now i had to pump I had to breast I had to store the breast milk I previously pumped right before this. Then I have to run over here. I have to make her bottles ahead of time. Because I just think it's easier. Look, see mama? See, it's so much easier. And you know, I have to do all this. And I'm not even gonna get ready today because I just feel like that's a lot. <laughs> right now and i'm already late and i hate being late guys it makes me in the worst mood ever well right now i'm not in the worst mood because i'm gonna go hang out with yourself but still like i feel bad you know que deje dar llegar ahí a las tres a las nueve and it's fucking 9 49 i should have been there 49 minutes ago si mi vida 49 minutes ago but somebody wouldn't get up i'm not saying who but she lives in this house so I'm gonna take those two. I like usually take like a bag. I'll usually take a bag of milk that's like already thawed out or whatever. See, mm -hmm. See me, one more bag. Like, I know I take an excessive amount of milk because I'm literally only going to be gone for like four hours, I think, around there. Probably more, but <laughs> that's just what I do. Just, I'd rather be safe than sorry. And I'm not going to be bringing my pump today just because, um, as I said, I'm not going to be gone for that amount of time. And it's kind of like a chinga to be looking for for the pump. Like right now I'm double thinking it. I'm like, wait a minute, should I take my pump? But no, I'm not going to take my pump. Because it's just like a chinga, as I was saying. <gasps> and I have to make sure I left my food, my poor baby. Hey, you guys. So we just left Sephora. And I ended up um, returning the stuff I told you guys I was going to return. And I got um, the Hydro Grip Setting Spray, which I'm pretty excited about. And then I got the Lily Lashes, the light ones. And then I repurchased one of my favorite foundations, which is the Vanish Stick Foundation from Hourglass. So I think I'm going to go look if um, there's any clothes, winter clothes for Montserrat and H&M. Because that's my favorite store to shop at. And I'm here with Giselle <laughs> and baby Alex and of course Monse. So this is, this is a really cute place. Look. Yep. Right? Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and go on H&M. Hopefully Giselle wants to go. Yes, <laughs> Imagine. Like, no, we're here, but we're not <laughs> like, um, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and do that and we will see you later. These are the things I bought guys. This is the new um, Grip Set Refresh Spray from Milk Cosmetics. I really, 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 really like the Hydro Grip, the primer. So um, I saw Giselle get this and it made me want to get it and that's why I got that. And then this is my favorite foundation of all time. It is the Hourglass Vanish. Um, I prefer um, cream foundation like stick foundations over like liquidy so this is definitely my favorite. If you guys haven't gone on to it you should definitely should. It is warm. I get the color warm beige and it's pretty much my perfect match most of the time. And then I got these. These are the Lily Lashes in Miami Light. Um, they, I usually just get the regular Miami ones, but these, um, are supposed to be, like, the lighter version, I guess. And they look really pretty, so I decided to get these because I haven't tried them yet. And we stopped by here to see where Alex is going to play. And Monte is still sleeping. What are you doing, Alex? Can I have an ice cream? Yeah? Give me one. I want vanilla. Mmm, yum! Guys, this has slowly become my favorite section in H&M. We're gonna look for winter clothes for Monte because 
Um, she has a lot of summer dresses, but she really doesn't have that much winter clothes. And then her legs are like really long, so I can't really put like, like a lot. Oh my God, look how cute this stuff is for little boys. Oh my God, guys, I really want a baby boy. Look how cute those colors are. Dude, I love this sweater. I know. I really want a little boy now. But I'm gonna have to wait. So this is the baby section, I think, around here. Like, look how cute those colors are for fall. So cute. I might buy Montserrat some boy stuff. <laughs> Alright, let me look around. This is cute. It doesn't have her size. Is she awake? No, she's waking up. Why are you being gachi? Hmm? ¿Qué pasa, mi amor? Estoy comprando ropa para ti. Yeah, with your long legs. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's what you wanted. Okay. Guys, this is what I ended up getting. Look how good it is. This is called something baked zini and a pepperoni pizza and it's here. It's called the Villa Italian Kitchen. And Montserrat already ate. Don't worry guys, I fed my child. Who's gonna take a bath? Quien se va a bañar, eh? Quien le toca baño, eh? Quien le toca baño, mi niñas? Ooh. Who's the cute little baby, eh? Oh, ¿qué? ¿Quién? 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 No, okay, you're done. Okay, sorry. All right, Monse, are you ready to go to sleep? ¿Lista para dormirte? ¿Sí? Oh, you see me, vida. Ya ve tu ropita. Oh, these are your PJs. <gasps> Look at those socks. ¿Tienes hambre? Are you over it now? Okay, okay. I get you. Bye. Guys, so you see where that car is driving past? That corner is where um, our mailbox is. Tell me why I heard Crystal's music all the way from over there. You want to go say hi to your daddy? You want to go say hi to your daddy? Yeah? Guys, he gets so excited every single day. Time Crystal comes home. Ve a saludar a tu papá. Ve a saludar. Corre, 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 corre. So our yard is extremely long right now because um you can see actually because Crystal's um lawnmower broke. Say hi, mi amor. Oh look at him, such a hardworking man with his orange on. Exhausted, hungry. So we haven't cut our lawn in like month, in like a long time. That's why it's like that. But they're supposed to be fixing the tractor. Ve, ve, ve. Eh? Que están arreglando el tractor para que para cortar pasto. ¿Cómo te fue el trabajo? Bien. Yeah. Miss me? Yes. Little or a lot? Oh, look at your face. You look the same cuando eres chiquito. <laughs> Look what my lovely husband brought me, guys. These are the best con limón in Valentina. Oh, he's the sweetest. All right, guys, and this is what I made for dinner. It looks super um, um, not healthy and um, not the most appetizing, but I promise it's really good. It's like carne molida with like um, jitomate, hella onions, garlic, um, you know, just like a bunch of stuff mixed together. Mm. And maybe with some frijoles. ¿Te gusta el baño? <gasps> you do? Yay! And then some agua de jamaica and some tortillas. Dinner time! And that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As you can tell by my beautiful hair, I am going to go to bed. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.